Hey y'all, I have messed up. This is gonna cost some money and a lot of work to get fixed. <sighs> I've ruined both wheels on my trailer and probably blown both tires. I'm not sure, but we're sitting here. This really stinks. So the back end of the trailer is sitting on the ground. That's why I can't go anywhere. So I'm going to have to unload this 6,000 pounds of dirt here, haul it up to where we're going to put the garden in with the tractor. And, uh, man, I cannot believe that. There's a big rock down here at the corner. And I thought I was over far enough to clear it. Well, ain't nothing to it but to do it now. <clears throat> We're gonna go cut the logs. And then we're gonna unload the dirt. And then we're gonna hopefully be able to drag this rig back up the hill up here where I can work on it better. At least I've got one good wheel for it still. And then we're gonna plant strawberries, lots of them. like close to 3,000 of them and it's raining all right y'all not a great day for filming but it is one of the perks of filming with my phone is I don't have to try to keep my camera dry because my phone is waterproof at least it's supposed to be um, I just sent Jack back down the hill I remember that I had a, some boards left over from where I built this barn over here our pole barn back in the spring when we first moved here Actually, before we moved here, when we first started moving here. Um, so he's going down to get those. I, I got to looking at all the logs, and I thought, man, this is just really daunting. Today, with the rain and trying to figure out nice straight ones that are... I can get to the right length, the right diameter, and then I thought, wait a minute, I have the lumber down there. So we're going to do these beds out of that lumber. Um, I think it's 2 by 8 or 2 by 6 pine. I can't remember, about 12 foot long. We're going to do that. I'm going to roll out some landscape fabric here. Uh, when we did our garden, we just left the end of the roll down here. So I do, all I got to do is cut it free, bring it over here, which I'll show you in a second, and roll it out. And uh, then we're going to put the beds on it and then bring the dirt up and dump the dirt into the beds and fill them. So shouldn't be a whole lot to it. I just, I'm really bothered by my trailer. <laughs> Cannot believe I did that. I knew that rock was there. I've tried to dig that rock out with the tractor, with that dozer that we had here, and it wouldn't budge it. I am probably just going to take a sledgehammer down there and uh, give that thing a good working over and get it busted out, at least where it's not going to bust my tires anymore. Because that's, I don't know, I haven't priced tires in a while. I'm sure two or $300. Huh. Can't believe it. But I'm not going to let it get me down because I have way more money than that worth of strawberry plants to plant. So it is a blessing. We're gonna dig it and pull this out, cut it, then I'll roll it over here and we're gonna get it done. Moving all these pumpkin vines. There are pumpkins. I didn't realize there were so many pumpkins over here. We got pumpkins growing on our potato hills. We're still making, look at all the blooms and baby pumpkins. This garden has gone nuts, y'all. I'm very thankful about that. Okay, I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. I think I'm going to move this fence down a little bit with some of these multi-wire posts and just roll the fabric out this way. I think it's going to be the easiest, fastest way to do it. And there's no reason not to do that because this fence is purely temporary. Okay, 
That affords me enough room to roll this fabric out through here now. We've got everything cut to length. I've got about six, it's gonna be about six foot wide and whatever that length is, I don't even know. I've got about 12 foot and 13-ish feet. So that what's makes, 25 foot? Six by 25-ish, because it's what I have. Jack's going to grab a couple scrap pieces we can scab these together with. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing the ends on these boards so that we have it together. All right, y'all. This is probably one of the ugliest raised beds I've made. Up till now, I thought these were. This one definitely takes the cake. The most twisted up, gnarled up bunch of lumber. I don't know how many different sizes it is. Um, but soon, like next spring, there's gonna be so many strawberries in here, you won't even be able to see the wood, I bet. So, it's function over form. Using what you got, making the best of it to grow your food. And this is gonna grow food. food. The strawberries won't care what the bed looks like. What they're going to care about is the nutrient density of the soil. And it's going to be nutrient dense. So here we go. That's where we're at so far. We got the trailer up here, as you saw. That was a big fiasco, but at least it's up here. I didn't tell Jock Rowan to put it in my mind. We would park it like right here, but I forget I forgot to tell him that. So we're back up here, but that's okay. So we're gonna go up here. I've got to quit for now because we got to take Josiah to the doctor uh, to get his arm looked at by the actual orthopedic doctor this time. So uh, going to do that, and then we'll be back to finish filling these beds and uh, plant some strawberries. Hopefully, hopefully this doctor's appointment goes quickly. We'll see. Okay, y'all, we never made it back up here yesterday, which was fine because it just started just absolutely pouring the rain. But by the time we took Josiah to the doctor and then got back, then uh, Jenna had to take the kids to, uh, to youth uh, service last night. It was just a, uh, we never made it back. So today we did bring the strawberries up here and just set them out so the roots, they could get rained on. So the roots wouldn't dry out, which will keep them good and alive. Uh, Jack has almost got this stuff spread out good. Um, I've got another dipper, maybe two dippers full. Um, I'm going to use some of this stuff to put in a pot and plant our fruit trees. We have, I think we told y'all we have a persimmon tree and we have a plum tree. Now we're not sure exactly where we want to plant them permanently yet. So we're going to pot them and then bury the pot in the ground and then we'll mulch around it. And that should keep them throughout the winter. That, that way they can do well throughout the winter. They won't freeze. They, they should survive just fine that way. Um, I'm trying to decide if I need to put more dirt in here or what needs to happen next. Um, I'm thinking probably one more dipper in there on this end. Don't you, Jack? Um, Over here? Maybe. Partly? It's kind of a shower. So maybe maybe half on this side, then half over here probably? Uh, probably. Okay. All right, we can do that. And then, yeah, you just rake it out smooth and then we're gonna start planting these strawberries. And we've got way more than we have room for right now to plant in this bed. Um, so I'm gonna figure out some spots in the garden to plant them. Uh, I told Jenna I might till up the, uh, the area where the, 
the uh, ground cherries are because they've just become so overgrown with thistles that we can't really harvest them. And I'm kind of looking at it, uh, at it uh, as it, uh, for a way to just store the strawberries um, until I can get more beds, more specific strawberry beds built. Um, obviously, we have enough strawberries. We could do them from one end, 100 foot by six foot, which would be 600 square foot of bed times four, four per square foot. That would give us room for 2,400 strawberries, uh, strawberry plants. Um, so that might be what we end up doing, but I don't have the materials to do that right now. So I just need a place to put the strawberries to keep them until I get to that point. So, which might even be in the spring and that's okay. So, uh, this is going to be a growing bed. The other place will might be like a little nursery bed for them to keep them alive and healthy. So I'm going to put a little bit of this good soil on the bottom of these pots. And then we're going to put these trees in it. And I'll get inside to hold them each for me while I throw the dirt in around them. And they should just do great. All right, Josiah. Take one of them. Let's do that. This is our persimmon tree. Show them. And it, it's looking a little peaking and a little wealthy. Uncle Charlie says it'll live. Well, let's try it. They're gonna, they're gonna really like this soil. I hope that they, they do well. That'd be pretty cool to have my trees and harvest fruit off of them that my 95 year old uncle gave me. That'd be pretty neat. Take them down here and put them in the garden so nothing can eat them. All right, y'all, we didn't get all the strawberries in today. We got hundreds and hundreds in. As you can see, we tilled the spots. We put more, I don't know, can y'all see Lydia there? They, uh, they tilled the spots and, uh, or we did, they did some because we had to run and pick up some bulk food that came in we had ordered. That's gonna be another video. Jenna's excited to show you all the bulk food that, she's, that she got in. But um, we put down the plastic then I had to let Jenna take a look at it. She's been down here canning tomatoes and stuff like that. And um, working with the girls in the camper, getting that stuff done, preserving food. We were up there getting that ready. But I brought her up there and showed her this evening. And we're going to do one foot, uh, one foot row spacing, six inch spacing between the plants in each row. Uh, we got propane for the torch. We're going to tomorrow burn the holes in that fabric plant a few thousand more strawberry plants tomorrow so it was a little bit more prep than we there's a lot more plants than we planned on getting so uh which is awesome but um the new little steers are doing great they're down here i put uh gertie and um who was it i put in there with them i think mandy or issy may i can't remember the other heifer in with uh, them it was Mirabelle. no i'm pretty sure that's what you said no it wasn't mirabelle so anyway, Mirabelle's... Yeah, up, it was Issy May. Yeah, Issy May. So um, they're quite tame considering all they've been through lately. So uh, I don't, I, they're, they're going to make some good beef. But 
I guess that's it. That's going to wrap up this video. Uh, planting strawberries again tomorrow. I promised y'all animal videos. I will work on that tomorrow. And uh, we will catch y'all on the next video. So please, if you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click the like button. Click the notification bell. And YouTube will let y'all know every time we upload a video. And please leave us a comment below and let us know what you think about what we're doing, what we've got going on, things you would like to see more of, which I know animals, I'll get to that. It's just I'm trying to, to steward what God is providing us with right now, and that is the, the food, which is a perishable item. I can't just let it go. So we've been just going crazy on it. So anyway, catch y'all in the next video. Love y'all.